Getting ready for the round eight of Oklahoma. Jeffrey Finn guy, Jeffrey Lynn, two Jeffreys on the front row, a surprise pole sitter, and Finn guy. Here we go. Round eight it is underway. Green flag is out for Oklahoma. Boy, that didn't take long. Three lead changes in only one lap. Eric Burton is the leader at the line. But we got problems on the front straightaway here. Michael White, Dajan Dweek, Sean Harple, uh, the 01 of Jeff James all have problems on the front straightaway. It's going to start up here. Jeff James, who started in third on the racetrack there, turns Jeffrey Lynn down the track. Lynn cannot seem to find a break there. Lynn gets into Harpool, sending him back up the track. Hard hit for Harpool. And around they all went there. Richard Johnson gets a piece of it there. Michael White, you see there. Bassinger Acosta comes sliding in. And um, there's Dajan Weeks, Jordan Fisher. And um, that's all that was that happened right there. Well, not really. Dom Caps, who had to use a past champion's provisional to get into the race here, got clipped at the very last second. Spun it around there. And hit the wall. Dom Caps had to use a pass team in provisional to get in the race. And man, nearly, he, he almost got by it there, but got clipped at the last second. Getting ready to go back green. Nick Mace is a lap down here. I don't know why, but Ryan Acosta and Lynn, that was in the wreck last time there. Burton leads us down in the X side batteries forward, along with um, Malik Nevins, um, James Shelley, and them behind him. And back on our way. And here we go. New leader at the line. James Shelley now the new leader here on lap 7. Goes right by Eric Burton. Malik Nevins having a good show in here. Jordan Davis, his first time back um, since Fontana when he got injured there. He's right up here racing with these guys. Two Finn Guy Pistoni cars up here as well. Nick Pericles working his way forward. One of the blue flares. Up in the second place, Cody Lamas up into the picture now. Eric Burton back there in the wall. Andres Allen working his way forward. Charlie Smith climbing his way up into the picture here as well. Up front it is still James Shelley in the 62 car doing a very good job up here right now. Um, Nick Mason, not sure why he's a lap down, but right now if a caution could come out now. Um, with him leading this pack here, he could get back on the tail end of the lead lap, but Andres Allen does not want him to be on the lead lap as Allen now takes the lead, but the pole sitter of Finn Guy is going to come up here and take it. But here comes Charlie Smith. Bunch of lead changes here today. Here, Charlie Smith in the Athenian Motorsports car comes up and takes the lead here with some help from Zachary Fitzwater, who started all the way back in 41st. Was the last guy to get in on a provisional starting position here. And here he comes up to the bumper of Smith. Gets him up, gets right underneath him here. And usually the Max had a start at the rear of the field as well. And here comes William Brock continuing to do well this season in the 66 car. He's up in the picture here. To Max in the 24 now. Going to the inside. He wants to lead a lap for this weekend here. Down low. He's got Nick Mace coming up behind him there. Mace is a lap down though. And Jacob Hart's going to try and take the lead here, but the Max leads at the line. 
three wide there with a lap car in the middle. Jacob Hart now has Brock and Collins. Collins had a good one in qualifying there, started third. And Collins on the back bumper of Brock. William Brock in the 66 car. Look at these underfunded guys here. And here we go. Brock leads that lap. They're going to run up on Harpo lap car. And boy, Bradley Bishop Jr. throwing it down there. Bishop Jr., this is his first race this season. And he goes low here. Bishop trying to lead this lap here, but Noah wants to take it at the line. Give it to Noah, I think. Yes, indeed. Noah Hart led that lap, but now Shelly wants to lead again. A lot of lead changes here at Oklahoma here so far. Andres Allen going low. Boy, three wide with Davis. Davis throwing an aggressive move down the inside there. And the car with Chevy. Davis leads that lap there. Levi Pasco, another Athenia Motorsports car, coming up here to try and battle for the lead. Cody Lamas in the CBM up here. Sean Perkins had to start at the rear of the field. They've coming up on Jeffrey Lynn, a lap car. Had to split him. Here comes to Max underneath of um, the 55 of Pasco. But Collins leads yet again another lap here. Collins has struggled a lot this season to make races, and it's really. Nice to see Collins up here doing well here. But here comes Cody Lamas down low of Eugene Max. And Lamas is going to take the lead. But the pole sitter coming back up here to the front. With um the 8 car who started back in 41st place. Right there behind them pushing them. They're coming up on lap traffic. Dajan Weeks, Richard Johnson. Boy they are racing really close here. Finn Guy doing an amazing job here today. Up here... I think he's led probably one of the most laps here today so far. Not many people have been able to stay up front here. Andreas Allen's got a fast car here in the 43. Gibson Dodge. His teammate Acosta of one here. Remember, winning a race here and being inside the top 25 in points gets you into the chase. Noah Hart, Levi Pasco. Up here now with Sean Perkins looking for his fourth win of the season here. He had to start at the rear of the field there. Perkins charging his way to the front here. He's got Collins and Davis right behind him there. Davis moves Collins out of the way here. Perkins leads here at the line. But it wasn't for long that Jeffrey Finn guy in the, the pole sitter would come back up and take the lead again. It's an outstanding performance by some of these other cars up here you wouldn't usually see here. Jeffrey Finn guy. Kyle Collins is up here. Bradley Bishop Jr., his first race of the year. And Brock has been doing really well all season. And here comes Chris Dodd in the zero trying to get up into this pack as well. And Charlie Smith was leading earlier. There's some guys up here that have not really ha had cars that could win here. But they're up here battling here. Zachary Fitzwater. We've already talked about this story here. The last guy that could have possibly got in on owner's points. Provisional starting position. 41st on the grid here. Fitzwater had he could have missed that race there if he did not even qualify inside the top 18 and Fitzwater got into this race here <clears throat> doing a very good job here DJ Curtis with the help from Bradley Bishop Jr. down low there Andres Allen there lap car Jeffrey Lynn again four wide momentarily as they go around the lap car Bishop Jr. to the lead here Bishop has struggled to make races all season. He went seven races in a row, missing a race here. And as they go around Harple again, Bishop trying to lead a lap here, but Allen gets to the corner panel to him there. And Bishop leads there, but Andreas Allen looking to get his first win since season 11. But here comes Levi Pasco trying to be the, I think the 97th different winner of the Sony Cup Series. Down low of Allen as they go around the lap traffic here of Jake Bassinger. Bassinger is actually trying to keep up here, but man, Brock and Finn guy. Oh, Brock's in the wall there. William Brock, that he had a good run going, but he's in the wall. Levi Pasco is just going inside and out, going right around these lap cars here. TJ Curtis and Cody Lamas, teammates there. Their teammate of Matt DeLeo failed to qualify here. DeLeo would have started 42nd. If it wasn't for Dom Caps needing to use the past champions provisional, the, the CBMs are trying to do good for a fallen teammate that did not make this race here. Lamas 
down low looking for his first Sony Cup Series victory. So is Pasco. DJ Curtis, Jeffrey Finn guy up here as well. Lap car of Dejan Weeks is going to be on the way here. Oh boy! They nearly ran in the back bumper of Weeks there. Matthew Arrigo's lap car running well up here in this pack here. Jordan Davis, Fitzwater, Noah Hart. Chris Dodd inside the top 10 working his way through the field. Brock and Turner, that's the top 10. Finn Guy has taken the lead again in the 92 car. He's got a quick car underneath him here today. He grabbed the pole for this race weekend. Has really surprised me here. He ran well at Road Atlanta. Finn Guy has failed to qualify for some races this season. They're trying to get that team a winning team here. They ran part-time last season here. And Finn Guy is one of the few guys that has raced on this racetrack here. This track has been off and on on the schedule for the series for the longest time. It's been since season 17 that we ran here. That was three seasons ago. Lamas and Pasco and the, the front two guys here have never won a Sony Cup Series race. They could possibly do that here today here. Pasco in the Athenian Motorsports 55 car leads the way. Coming around to the line. It'll be only 10 laps to go. Pasco finally loses the lead to Jeffrey Fenguy again. Fenguy continuing to impress me here. And the number 92 Nintendo Chevy does not need to go up and hit the wall as they try and go around lap traffic. Or not lap traffic. Davis just made a three wide pass. And boy, that made Fenguy bobble and go up near the wall there. But Llamas down the inside here. We might go recording all the way to the end of the race here. They're making fast lap times here. Llamas down the ins down the inside there is Fitzwater. We don't have we have we have a small pack up here battling for the lead. Fitzwater, Curtis, Llamas, Pasco, Davis, Noah Hart, and Jeffrey Finn guy. That's who is up here battling for this win. Then back here in eighth, it's Jacob Hart. Then D uh, William Brock, and then Jesse Turner. That is the top ten. And then further back, that's the rest of the field as they have kind of spread out here, um, racing through here. They have lost touch with that pack. But up front, lap car Nick Mace goes right by Pasco. Levi Pasco, that 55 team, won a race last season with Matthew Rodriguez. And they're trying to get Levi Pasco to victory lane again here. But he's going to have to get back to the bottom if he wants to have any chance here. Jeffrey Finn guy goes down low of the lap car of Nick Mace here. Getting a draft run off these two lap cars here. Finn guy going to go right up the middle of them. And oh, where is he going to go? He's going to go way low where. Oh, Nick Mace five wide there. Boy, Noah Hart, be careful. Noah Hart made that work. Nearly got wrecked there. But man, here comes Fitzwater to try and chase down Finn guy. Five to go here. The pole sitter leads over the 41st starting position guy of Fitzwater. From the first starting position to the almost dead last, these guys are battling out here. Red Bull versus Finn guy, Bastoni, but Mace is going to try and mess that all up here. Noah Hart's trying to get up here as well. Remember Fitzwater, if he could win here, that's basically like a lock into the chase unless you fall outside the top 25. Boy, Finn guy possibly might be able to hold off here and win. But here comes Mace. Noah Hart's going to try and fill the gap there and follow his best friend there. Noah Hart to the point here. Remember, he's, re he's retiring at the end of the season. If he can win, he'd get into the chase here. DJ Curtis already has a win this season. Down low, three wide, coming back to the line, two to go. Cody Lamas is up here as well. Looking for his first Sony Cup Series win. So it's Pasco. Finn Guy and Fitzwater is still up here. Davis has fell out of the pack. We're going to have lap traffic up here. I don't know if we're going to run into Richard Johnson, but Fisher is going to be a factor here. Cody Lamas down low of his teammate of DJ Curtis. Looks like a first time winner might happen today because Pasco's coming as well. Who's going to get it? Can Curtis get his 11th Sony Cup Series victory? No, Pasco goes low of him. The white flag is out. The bleeder back to the finish line will win the race. Llamas looking for his first win of the Sony Cup Series. Pasco is there. 
Levi Pasco got to run here. Levi Pasco down low, side by side. Pasco's got it. Levi Pasco wins at Oklahoma. A first time winner, Athenian Motorsports. Just won here at Oklahoma. Off the of turns four and at the final few hundred feet, Pasco grabs the victory. Man, what a run by Levi. He had such a run on Llamas there off four. And there's a wreck there off the corner there off turn four involving Dylan Young. And I think someone else as well. But man, what a finish there. Dylan Young was in that. Yeah, this was after the race here. Dylan Young and Jacob Hart got together there, spun around there, but man. A last lap pass by Levi Pasco is going to take him to victory lane and is going to launch him into a chase spot here. And man, I think this is like the 96th or 97th different winner of the Sony Cup Series here. And a last lap pass in the last few hundred feet by Levi Pasco. See, he's already ahead there. Pasco had it. I knew he had it coming to the line here. But Lamas was trying to charge back. Levi Pasco is going to be the 97th different winner of the Sony Cup Series right here. Gets it right there. By basically by half a car length over the 10 of Cody Lamas. Two guys going for their first win of the Sony Cup Series. And Levi, Athenian Motorsports. Man, 97th different winner of the Sony Cup Series. Levi is 8th in the point standings. And this is going to pretty much put him into the chase here. But he's still got to finish inside the top 25 in points by chase time to get that chase spot. And we might still get more than 16 winners by the end of the season. But, man, what a run by Levi Pasco here. Congratulations to him on the win here today at Oklahoma. Let's get you to our finishing results and standings after round 8 on the schedule.